I was praying and um, as I was praying, I received this message from the Lord on November 11th of 2023. So the message began with a vision and in the vision I saw a vector and it was a vector that was showing the, um, the locations of north, south, east and west. And then right after I was shown that vision, the Lord gave me this message and I wanna read. The Lord said, from the north to the south and from the east to the west, the world will know that I am the Lord. For my mighty hand is poised to strike and the wicked will be full of terror and the righteous will rejoice, says the Lord. Oh, I see their plans of war and their plans of takeover and I laugh at their plans, says the Lord. My laughter will shake the heavens and scatter my enemies, says the Lord. For my enemies have been scheming and planning, but when I laugh, they will scatter. When I laugh, their ley lines are severed and their strongholds cut off, says the Lord. Listen, listen, listen for my laughter against my enemies, says the Lord. I want to read to you Psalm 2 verses 1 to 5. Why do the nations rage? and the people plot a vain thing. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed saying, let us break their bonds in pieces and cast away their cords from us. He who sits in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall hold them in derision. Then he shall speak to them in his wrath and, and distress them in his deep displeasure. Then the Lord continued and he said, My voice is mighty and will break the cedars of Lebanon. My voice causes the oceans to roar. My voice causes the earth to split. Then they will know that I am the Lord. Psalm 23 verses 3 to 5. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord is over many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. Yes, the Lord splinters the cedars of Lebanon. Then the Lord continued and he said, the fear of the Lord will be upon the people and the wicked will gnash their teeth, but the righteous will bow down and say, glory to the Lord most high. A time is coming soon, my child, when the world will know that I am the Lord. Psalm 37 verses 12 and 13. The wicked plots against the just and gnashes at him with his teeth. The Lord laughs at him for he sees that his day is coming. Then the Lord said, I have the victory. When things look bleak, and it seems like the whole world is upside down with wicked and evil works, just know that I have the victory, says the Lord. The season of wickedness and lawlessness is about to end and order will be restored, my order, says the Lord. So look to me, the God of order, to bring this chaos to an end. Look to me to end these wars the one between Russia and Ukraine, and the war between Israel and the Hamas. So that was the message that I received on November 11th. The second thing I want to share with you came from a brother in Christ who also operates in uh, the prophetic. Um, he said, uh, he shared with, he first of all, he shared this with me and I felt very impressed then to put this also in the video. So he was in prayer and he said he had this great joy that just flowed deep from, from within his belly. And it was like a supernatural joy that was permeating him. And then he went into a vision which completely shattered his joy. In this vision, he saw a child in a cage and the cage was embedded in a wall in an underground 
tunnel. The little boy was dirty and he had his face pressed up against the bars. And then he heard screaming. And then the Lord told him that the blood of the, of the children is their currency. Then the Lord spoke these words to him. The Lord said, do not forget my children. Tell the people to pray for the children and contact their friends and tell the churches to pray for the children. The Lord said, if people will pray, it will crush the enemy and crush their plans. So I am putting out a call to uh, prayer today for the children who are in these tunnels and are being used for sex trafficking and for blood sacrifice. I am also including a prayer to call uh, for the children and the hostages in the tunnels in Gaza. So please lift up your voices and pray for the children and they will be released from captivity. And we're gonna pray that their, their emotional heal or their emotional wounds and their physical wounds will be healed by Yahushua Jesus. In Revelation 5, 8, we see the 24 elders, they fell down before the lamb and they each had a harp and golden bowls full of incense, it says in the scripture, which are the prayers of the saints. And that's in Revelation 5, 8. So when we lift up our prayers for these children, the golden bowls get filled up and then God pours those bowls back down as his answer to our prayers. That's why it's so important for us to pray because it fills up those golden bowls in heaven and then God hears. And, and so that, that's what our aim is. So if you are willing to pray for the children who are in captivity, please place a comment um, below the video and saying, I'm praying for the children. And then put your, if you live in the US, put what state you're from. If you live out of the country, place the country that you're from. I believe, um, along with my brother in Christ that, that gave me this, this message from the Lord, that we can get a worldwide movement of prayer for these children. And this will be the tipping point for their release. Hallelujah. So thank you and God bless.